Now at 11 and streaming on CBSN Bay Area, a major financial blow for San Francisco. Good evening, I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. And I'm Ken Bassi. The city just lost its biggest tech conference of the year. KPI X5's Joe Vasquez tells us tonight Oracle is opting out. Conventions bring thousands of people into San Francisco at a time tens of millions of dollars of economic impact. But today we learned one of the largest conventions in the city is leaving for Las Vegas. Oracle's Open World, which for years has brought in software developers from all over the globe, will no longer be held in San Francisco. The city's tourism bureau, the San Francisco Travel Association, sent out an email telling its members the move of the convention would mean a loss of $64 million to San Francisco. That's according to a report by CNBC, which says Oracle's conventioneers complained hotels were too expensive and also cited, quote, poor street conditions. Housing is expensive, like our Airbnb is expensive, yeah. everything's expensive here. We talked to some folks at the Moscone Center attending the convention of the American Geophysical Union. The streets seem pretty safe generally, but I have seen a lot of needles around and a lot of people sitting on the streets, homeless, which is concerning. Well, I can see why a convention might want to move to Vegas instead, although the street conditions in Vegas aren't much better than here by any means. They have so, fewer homeless. Yeah, uh, yeah, but they have more aggressive people trying to sell you stuff. They're sending a big message, and, and I don't think that this is something to take lightly. John Constant, owner of John's Grill, says the city has improvements to make, and that message was made strikingly clear by Oracle's decision. It's an eye-opener, and I think that everyone in charge of the city is going to take the necessary actions. But I'm sure there's a lot of conventions in line ready to take their place. Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5. In a statement, Mayor London Breed acknowledged the city's homeless challenges and the investments being made to combat them. She also said that she hopes to work with SF Travel and the Hotel Council to address the high cost of those hotel rooms.